Okay, in this tutorial, we are going to do a static um, stress test using finite element analysis on this hinge here, this bracket, sorry. So I'll share the link to this with you and all you have to do is click open in Fusion and it will open it up in Fusion 360 um, like this. Okay, and so your first uh, task is to go over here and navigate to the simulation workspace where we can do a, um, eventually we can do a simulation. But for now, uh, what we need to do first is we need to um, tell Fusion 360 what parts of this model are allowed to move and which parts are not allowed to move. So I've oriented this model. This is, the, this is a shelf bracket. So this side here is gonna go against the wall and be anchored to the wall. This is the side, this is where the force is going to be. The force is going to get pushed down right on top of here. Um, and you can see over here, you can see that the back of the bracket here, that is the X and Y axes. And then the Z axis is the one that comes out here. So what we want to do first is we want to constrain we're gonna put screws in here. So these two holes are not allowed to move. So we fix those. And now we need to say, what axes are we fixing? So when we fix these two axes, right, what we're really fixing is we're fixing the X and the Y. So it, it kinda of can't wobble back and forth. So we will undo the Z axis there. Now we also though, wanna make sure that it can't pull itself out from the wall. That's the z-axis. So we're going to add another constraint. And this time we're going to click on the back panel. And we're going to unclick these two. And that's the z-axis that we're constraining. So now we have told Fusion 360 all of the parts that can't move. Um, so now we also need to go and tell it what material this is. So we can go to the study materials. And if we click edit in here, we can go and we're just gonna make this stainless, I think we're gonna make it stainless steel. Um, and so all of these different materials will be treated differently by um, the modeling software, okay? All right, I'm just gonna pause here and make sure I know how to, what to do next. Okay, so the next step now is to apply a load. So we're gonna apply a structural load and uh, we're gonna apply, so you can see there's lots of different loads you can apply. We're just gonna apply a force to the uh, top here. And now we need to tell it how much force. So by default, the units are set to Newtons. So we're gonna set that to a thousand Newtons. So a thousand Newtons is, um, the equivalent of about uh, 100 kilograms or 220 pounds. You can go down here and change the units. So we could change that to like pounds of force. Um, if pounds work for you. Um, so, but we're gonna leave it for Newtons right now. You can always, if you have a certain amount of weight, you know, will be on there. You could always just go to Google and ask it how, you know, ask it how many Newtons that would be. And, uh, we'll add that in there. So now over here on the left, if we go to study materials, you can see it says stainless steel. This is our load case here. This is what we're talking about. And so you can see we've put a, this is our load that we've put in here. If I go edit, I can see that it's a thousand and I've got my two different constraints. You can see there's my screws. And if I hover over the, if I rotate this a bit, you can see that that's the back constraint there. Okay, so that's what I've done so far. Um, so the next step is we need to turn on gravity. All right, so you can see right now, this thinks that gravity is going that way. So we can actually click edit on gravity and we can go over here and click on the angle. And now we can tell it that we want gravity to be going straight down. So I think I've set up everything we need. What I'm gonna do is just pause again and double check. So one last thing you can do before you run the study is if you go over to display and degrees of freedom, 
um, degrees of freedom is kind of how much things can move. So you can see here that this is potentially fixed. So um, if it was red, then that would indicate that it's a part that you haven't fixed yet, or even yellow partially fixed. So it's where you can just double check you fixed everything you need to fix. So finally, you go over here to study, new simulation study. Like I said, we're gonna do static stress. So we're gonna go create study. And uh, so what you could, so I've already run the study. So um, the simulation, it'll probably take about five minutes to run. Um, if you uh, close this window, you can always go up here to the clock and click on view job status and it will bring your study back up, okay? So once the study is run, um, then when you go over here on results, it will it'll actually look like this when you first go to it. So now you can actually see, um, it'll give you a bunch of information on the stresses on your part. So right now it's a safety factor. If you go over here to the right and change to stress, so you'll be able to now see where the most stresses are um, on your model, right? So that this green would be where most of the force is. If you click on displacement, you can see which parts get moved the most, right? So interestingly, I'll show you animation that explains why this is the part that gets moved the most. Um, if you click on um, strain, you can get a really good sense of where the strain is. So you can see here, this is where, like, so if you were to kind of, um, if you were to add more material to your part to make it thicker, that's maybe where you would do it. Now, you might notice this actually looks a little bit different than uh, it originally did when we set it up, and that's because it actually changed shape under pressure. So one way you can see what happens is if you go to animate, and I'm just gonna turn this a little bit. If you click on play, you can actually see that you're, that under pressure, you actually get deformation of your shape. So this is all really useful stuff to know um, before you actually uh, print out your part and um, or, or make your part on the CNC router or anything like that, okay? So I think that's all you need to know about uh, doing a static stress simulation right now, give it a try yourself. See how successful.